Welcome to On The Record. I am your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. And for those who are new to this, On The Record is when I go to a record store and I take you with me and you watch me as I buy CDs, DVDs, vinyls, all that type of stuff. And then I take you back to my house and I explain to you why I got the records, why I got what I got, you know. But yeah, this time we went to Streetlight Records in San Jose. It's my favorite record store. I go there all the time like too much they done got so much of my money jesus but i got a little bit of everything i got books i got cds dvds vinyl like i got a lot in this one so without further ado let's get into the episode now i'm gonna start it off with the book that i got i got michael jackson man in the mirror um this one just like a whole bunch of pictures and like of Michael Jackson throughout his life. This is definitely like going on my coffee table. Um, like this is kind of dope, you know, like Michael Jackson is the king of pop, you know, one of the greatest to ever do it. Classic albums, like, like I was looking through some of these pictures and I've never seen some of these before. So it was pretty dope. You know, you reckon, you like recognize when you look at it, like, damn, Michael Jackson literally was famous his whole life. Like, there's no time in his life when he wasn't famous. And that's insane when you think about it. But that's definitely going to be on my coffee table next to my Kobe book that's just like this. RIP to two of the goats. Um, the seat, next CD, well, the first CD that I got is Pete Rock, Pete Strumentals 2. I personally think it's better than the first one. Um, Pete Rock is one of the greatest producers to ever do it. Y'all know about his work with CL Smooth, but he has also worked with every rapper out there. Like he, if he ain't work with you, that means you probably trash. Like Pete Rock has been on everybody's album. Nas, Jay-Z, like he's been on everybody's album and he's been around for years. Like Pete Rock is still putting down some of the best beats, you know, one of the best, one of the best. The next album is Marvin Gaye, What's Going On. Now this album is, well, one of the best albums of all time. If you listen to Rolling Stone, it's the greatest album of all time. Um, some people think that, you know, people are better than him. I think Marvin Gaye is the best. I think he has the best voice. I think he's the most versatile. He got all type of songs. Like he got Get Nasty songs. He got conscious songs. He got like sad, like broke up with your, your spouse songs. Like he got it all. And I think that what's going on is still relevant to today like the shit that's going on in society which is kind of fucked up that this was made fucking 30 40 years ago but it's still relevant to today um i got a couple movies the first one is dynamite dynamite that black dynamite uh this is a movie that i was never gonna watch if it wasn't for my brother jaquille um, I thought, I was like, man, why you got me watching this dumb shit? Like, I literally said that to him. And then, like, I just kept watching it, and I could not stop laughing. This movie is fucking funny. Like, Michael Jai White, um, you know, I didn't expect that, like, from him. You know, I usually see him in serious roles, so I wasn't expecting this to be so fucking funny. And it was hilarious. Like, I recommend that you watch Black Dynamite. Do not watch it with kids. I repeat, do not watch that movie with kids, but it is funny if you haven't seen it. Go see it. The next one is The Wood. Classic, classic, classic. Um, I'm trying to get my black cinema up. I watch pretty much, I watch so many black movies and it's sad that I don't own a lot of them, but The Wood I had to get. Um, every episode, y'all gonna see me probably with a, a black movie because I have like six and that's it. And I just recently bought like all of them. So it's sad, I know, but The Wood is something that I've seen. I've seen that movie probably when I shouldn't have seen it either, but um, it's classic, you know, to Stacy robbing a store and, you know, like it is funny to me, you know. I've seen it so much, like I can literally quote the movie. But let's get into this record you know this record is something i was really trying to find for a long time and then i finally found it at a record store because i didn't want to order it online because i like going to the record store and grabbing it and of course it's that woo tang woo tang woo tang 
into the into the woo 36 chambers uh, y'all already know it got classic records like cream casseroles everything around me this one has protect your neck this one has method man on there like and wu-tang is just a classic group like from Ghostface to Raekwon to Method Man. I actually think that Method Man is um, not the best. I think Raekwon's the best than Method Man. Uh, Jizza, like RZA, like RZA's production on, on this album is fucking amazing. Like fucking amazing. And how he like intertwines the little Kung Fu skits and stuff with this like, is it's dope. Like, like, and if you haven't seen the, their stuff on Hulu, the show on Hulu, I recommend it. I enjoyed it, you know. So the last thing that I got, I was like so happy to find this. Like this is this might have been the best thing that I've got from a record store in a, a long ass time. And I'm talking about Marvin Gaye, the collection. Now this is uh CDs, but this has literally like everything. It has his top 20 hits on one CD. Then it has his duets on one CD. Then it has his unreleased stuff, some live stuff, some rare stuff on a CD. Then it has his ballads on a CD. And then I'm sure there's some other stuff in here. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know if I'm going to open it. This is like such a good gift for me. Like, and I only got it for like $20. So shout out to Streetlight. Cause like, I don't know if I would have found this at another place for that price. But Marvin Gaye is the GOAT, you know. Anytime I see Marvin Gaye stuff, I'm copping it. And I just happened to find that it was like a little light was just beaming down on it. It was like, get it, get it, Jamal. And I had to get it. So, but that has been another episode. Let me tell you, show all the stuff I got. What's going on by Marvin Gaye, Peace Instrumentals, The Wood, Black Dynamite. Enter the Woo, the Michael Jackson book, and of course, the collection by Marvin Gaye. But this has been another episode of On the Record. I've been your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. Um, please let me know some record stores to go to. You know, I want to go to new ones. You know, I'm like, I've been to pretty much all the ones in the Bay Area. Um, like, let me know when I come to your city. Let me know something to go. Put it in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Um, also, we got Radio Raheem tape dropping every Saturday. So every time you see one of these episodes, there's also a tape out. Um, every Monday, we got the Harris Show podcast with me and my sister, Angie Ange. Follow us on Instagram. You know, we got some stuff on Instagram, like story times and some stuff that's just going to be Instagram exclusive. But this has been your boy, Jamal Radio Raheem. Until next time, stay safe out here. Take it easy. Peace.